Positioning the machinery behind the cow means that we will be working with an arm which approaches the cow from the rear. The cow sees and notices little of the arm and therefore remains calm. Since the arm is moving between its back legs, the chances the cow will step on it are minimalized. The arm does not have to perform rotary movements, which means the construction A big plastic bag. Yeah, she is kind of subdued, isn't she? Yeah, this morning Twist was bucking and jumping and running around in the weather because it was so nice the way she usually does. Yeah. She's just standing there with her head down. She's like, what It's for the other end to come. She's starting to I'm glad I'm not Coco right now. <laughs> the joy of being a veterinarian.
Ugh. Is she compacted? <coughs> no, not from what Kit tells me. That's pretty normal manure for this girl. Yeah, she's always well formed, and often each piece lands individually when it comes out. Yep. Well, this fits with that description. Mm. So that was just waiting for her to go, but that gets it out of the way so then I can actually do what we call palpation, feel around and see what's going on in there. Just like if you go to the doctor with a bellyache, you lie on the table and the doctor feels all the organs through your body wall. Her body wall is too thick to do that. Oh. So you have to go so from the inside. So, you go from the inside. So. Um, luckily for Coco, Melinda has one of the smaller, thinner arms. Yeah. Over. That's, yeah. I Dexter, think you that. want some too? <laughs> you want the special treatment, Dexter? It's, what are you doing to my buddy? You don't have to worry about shoving feces back up through? That's why we take them out of the way gently. It's an exam that has to be done gently, and that's why we gave her a little sedation because she's small, so it's important she stands still. So that she doesn't move next to her anything. And she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't kick you. Yeah, she's a little too groggy for that. Yeah. She still could if she was really motivated, but luckily it doesn't seem like she's the type. Somebody's doing their job keeping Coco calm. <laughs> Dexter wants to help. Well, everything feels pretty nice and normal in here. Um, you know, even on a little girl like her, her, we can't feel everything, so it's not to say she couldn't have an impaction higher up. Mm -hmm. We'll pass a tube and give her some laxatives and see if we don't make her feel a little better that way. Okay. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you too could be a veterinarian. <laughs> same time we need to direct the stream of milk into the tube at an angle. So now I'm going to open the lid, leave it half open like this, at an angle to the cow's teeth. I'm going to actually strip milk. The four milk is first stripped away onto the ground, not into the tube. And then once we finish stripping it into the ground, then we actually collect the two into the tube using again our lid as a buffer to prevent any sort of material from collecting into the well. Then we fill the tube up with milk, a small sample, at least one quarter of the way up the tube, and then we close the lid and we have our sample vial to turn in for microbiology that should, whatever organism grows should be the organism that's actually causing infection in the gland, causing mastitis.
big plastic bag. Yeah, she is kind of subdued, isn't she? Since the arm is moving between its back legs, the chances the cow will step on it are minimalized. The arm does not have to perform rotary movements, which means the construction Positioning the machinery behind the cow means that we will be working with an arm which approaches the cow from the rear. The cow sees and notices little of the arm and therefore remains calm.